What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and you're here. I am with Elias today. What's going on everybody? Welcome back. All right, so today uh, we're gonna do a quick update on the running R33 that Elias has been working on for two, two years. years. <laughs> <laughs> so that was unplanned though, that was just natural. <laughs> but um, we got a final product and you know, we're very happy with everything, the way everything turned out for him. Congratulations on the way things came out. So take it away. Let's go ahead and start. Let's go. Let's hit the exterior. Where are we at color wise? Wheel and tire suspension setup. Go. All right, everybody. So first and foremost, I do want to give a huge shout out to my homeboy Edwin at ES Wraps. Um, honestly, if it wasn't for him, I probably would have chosen another blue color for this car. But he really talked me out of it. We really wanted to do something different, something that hasn't been done before and i just, just huge shout out to edwin without him this vision wouldn't wouldn't have never happened so the wrap it is a 3m material it is it's reminiscent to the midnight purple three which is an r34 color so you get all the color shifts you get purple you get blue emerald you get a little bit of bronze it's, it's really it's a beautiful color and you know out in the sunlight, that's when she really pops. It has a really nice heavy metal metallic flake in it. So she's gorgeous, she's gorgeous. That's with the wrap. Um, as far as the, the actual body kit goes, in case you guys uh, remember from older older videos, it's actually the, the same exact body kit. I haven't changed anything. Uh, we still have the Tommy Kyra spoiler that we did get fixed and replaced. Um, no, not replaced, I'm sorry, we, that we did get fixed, we got fixed. Tommy car spoiler, uh, nothing done to the rear bumper, same exact side skirts and the same the same front bumper uh, the the car came with when we got it imported from Japan. Uh, which again, also another shout out to JDM Sports Classics. Y'all are the GOAT, y'all the, the best for finding this car in, in, the, in the first place. So if y'all want to find your dream JDM car, JDM Sports Classics, that's the place to go. So, All right. Uh that's color wise and pretty much body work and, and again even though it's still the way we it was picked up in 2019 the body lines the car looks majestic it looks great it complements everything that you your vision your final vision yes. so that i say good job to that now talk to us about your current wheel and tire setup so okay so this was a little bit of a, a headache i'm not gonna lie to you guys so with this car being a four lug pattern it is a four by 114 so not that many cars came with this bolt pattern so it's kind of really difficult to find some wheels so what i had to end up getting getting done was get some custom ones made and get some custom wheels made for it so as some of you guys may may or may not know i'm a big fan of esr wheels i love esr wheels they're one of the best wheel companies out there and we were actually able to make a is this the sro2 model so it's a monoblock wheel uh, nothing too fancy just a cast monoblock but as you can see we maintain the 4x114 lug pattern on it and we did in a triple chrome finish so it got chrome on the face the lip and on the inside of the barrel as well triple chrome finish uh let's move on to the tires so tires uh nothing too crazy as well these, what size are they these are going to be 235 40 18 uh the dimension of the actual wheel i forgot to mention they're 18 by nine and a half squared with a plus plus 30 offset, plus 30 offset all the way around. Nothing too crazy, very simple, and it's a classic look. Five spokes, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. Looks great. The only thing that we have talked about is, and you know, it's gonna come, you gotta work on that wheel gap. Yes. So, <laughs> as you can see, we still have the same exact coilovers that the car did come with from Japan unfortunately they're adjustable coilovers but they're not they're not adjustable anymore <laughs> they're they're pretty much seized up but which we'll probably squeeze a little picture here somewhere i do have some brand new coilovers for it again nothing too crazy they're from max speeding rods but it's from their new line their new generation line with improved fluids improved gas um better spring rates and all that jazz so that will be soon going on on the car and later on in the future with so that we can achieve a little bit of a better stance a absolutely stance so even though with the current look current setup the car still looks amazing the wheel complement the color of the car very very well i think it flows from one to the other in a very very good manner in a very good way 
Mm -hmm. So next thing and to finish up because where we get you get most of the questions is the engine bay Let's go ahead and open up the hood and we uh, go over the current uh, engine setup. Let's do it. What Paul Walker say pop the hood pop the hood <laughs> Do it. So This is what pretty much took the longest this is why the car really honestly took two years to, to get done <laughs> So here is the final iteration of my setup, complete. Take a good look at it, guys. Very, very beautiful setup. All right, so let's go over it. Um, let's start on the cold side. Uh, right. Walk us through the cold side. All right, so cold side. So as you can see, we did uh, a previous video a, a long time ago before the cars weren't even here. But this is the same exact uh, Grady style polished intake manifold that I got for the car. The same exact one. Uh, we added the titanium Grady emblem on there to, just so that, you know, it won't be empty space. We added the emblem on there. We got a brand new uh, Tomei fuel pressure regulator. We have stainless fuel lines. Also, uh, one, of the big, one of the big things that I did, I did have to swap out. If, in case you guys didn't remember, I originally had a eBay, I, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, it was an eBay fuel rail, it was, it was anodized blue to match the, the covers, uh, the valve covers. But uh, evidently, the threads on both sides ended up being crooked, so I wasn't able to use it, so we upgraded. We got a complete radium fuel system with injector dynamics, 1100 cc injectors, and was pumping through we're going to we're using a ditch works 350 fuel pump out in the back and another cool neat feature is we do have a arashi blow off valve which was actually originally angels and that's why it's ready it was originally angels on when he had his yr33 but i got my hands on got my hands on it so we got the arashi blow off valve a 80 millimeter throttle body billet as well which is very, very snappy. It's, it's <laughs> great. It does a really good job. Piping, intercooler size, and let's walk to the co uh, hot side. All right, so piping. It is a complete, fully custom in the garage. <laughs> uh, three inch, three inch piping all the way around, going to a, it's a this, is, this is a Rev9 Spec R four inch core intercooler. And I guess we'll go ahead and wrap up to the Happy side, I guess we could all say. <laughs> this is where all right. the fun happens right here. Right. So this turbo right here, in case y'all uh, don't remember from a video a while back, uh, I was running a Rev9 turbo. It was a billet wheel and everything. It would have worked just fine, um, but with future plans for the car and such, the turbo wasn't gonna do me, it do me any good later on in the future. So. We decided to get that replaced and I got a Kinugawa. It's a T67 turbo with a billet. It's a Gretty billet T04Z wheel. If you know, you know. Two T04Z wheels are, you know, infamous in Japan. So we got the turbo. Manifold. And the manifold, again, we got this replaced and switched out. It was actually the same exact manifold that Angel run on his white R33. It's from Rev9, great manifolds, tubular uh, design, super functional, and it performs really, really well. Um, then your, there he goes. So, wastegate. The wastegate, yes. So, the wastegate, uh, I'm about to forget. Oh, it is a TurboSmart Hypergate 45. Uh, I was actually get that, got that from uh, Soho Motorsports. Soho Motorsports usually have that in stock. So, we got that all that all said and done. They actually helped out fabricate the downpipe as well. We mm -hmm. had to do some slight modifications, but we had to extend it out a little bit, about about two inches or so, to make it really fit with the rest of the exhaust. Mm -hmm. um, the rest of the exhaust, pretty much, I no catalytic converter, no resonators, nothing, straight pipe. It, it is a '93. So it is a '93. North Carolina can suck it. <laughs> no, no, right. <laughs> so it's a three-inch straight pipe from the turbo back out to just probably like the cheapest is 
it, it ain't no use, but it's just an eBay muffler. That's pretty much what it is. All right, really. but the, one of the, and obviously, you know, being an eBay muffler is kind of irrelevant to all the goodies that you have going on. Yes. What controls all of this? So, the brain, I guess you could say. The brain that's powering all of this, I'm using a Haltech Platinum Pro plug and play ECU, uh, which again, we did do a video about that when I had first acquired it. Uh, what was it last year <laughs> yeah, it was it was a while back but what's powering all of this is we're running on hall tech and again um i want to give a huge shout out to soho motorsports um they really really helped helped help me out a lot big time as far as like what parts on um, that that's going to work and like the fuel system and all that jazz and advice and and giving out advice proper mm -hmm. advice uh not to mention the maintenance that was done to this car as well which I do want to point out before I forget, um, the Nismo oil pump with the billet oil pump gear that we got from Z1 Motorsports. In case y'all don't know, with the RBs, one of the biggest weakest points on the RBs is the, is oil starvation because of the oil pump. Because throughout time, you know they go out, but when they go out, you pretty much you the whole motor would go to waste, and we don't want that to happen. We don't want that to happen. We want to have a long lasting, you know drivable daily drivable street car mm -hmm. that's what we want and thanks to soho motorsports um we were actually able to acquire the the pump the oil pump gear brand new water pump builds brand new fluids throughout the entire car the whole nine yards we did a complete maintenance and it's, it was very well worth it very well worth it i agree so there you have it guys that's just a quick update on everything that was done to the car how long it has taken and the steps that he took to get it to this point so uh we'll in a different video i guess in a different day we'll get uh to actually ride and cruise in the car uh we'll take some shots you know going uh, to places with um yeah, just just cruising around the car so y'all can hear what the car sounds like and all that stuff but uh, all in all good job uh, Elias, um, everybody, if you have any questions for him, make sure you put them in the comments, send them on uh, in Instagram or wherever you, wherever is convenient to you. Mm -hmm. um, in the meantime, y'all be safe out there. Take care and we'll be, we'll be in touch. We'll see y'all in the next video. Take it easy, fellas.